Oh my god! Ah! Hey guys, me host Super Sorrel. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look how big this box is! It's huge! It's a massive mystery box from the Hook Group. Ah! Oh, that's heavy. <laughs> So, I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but on Z-Box or Zavi um, and the My Geek Box Company, we're doing deluxe and special edition boxes. Now, those included uh, DC, Marvel, and Star Wars. Now, obviously, I went for Star Wars, and you could get one for £30 and then one for, I think, about 50 I got the most expensive one, anyway. I got the most expensive one because I had the most stuff, and I wanted the biggest mystery box for Christmas. So, this is my Christmas present to myself. I hope it's good. I've avoided all reviews of this thing, like the plague, because I wanted to be surprised. So I'm gonna have to stand up to unbox it to like rip this open, because it's just it's just a massive box. Because uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to. Oh, I can do it from this angle. Whew. I'm gonna do this back in here. I need to invest in a Stanley knife. I'm gonna slice my hand off. <laughs> right, we're in, I think. Here. Right, we're in. There's meant to be like over a hundred pounds worth of stuff in here, so I'm stupidly excited to see what we got. Right, so item number one. That's a big book. A Star Wars absolutely everything you need to know, Journey to the Force Awakens. So this is a book by DK Publishing. Um, ooh. Oh, it's all like questions and answers, I think, from what I've just read on the back. There's loads of like little questions on the back. So but yeah, so it's like quotes, behind the scenes, little bits of information, top five nicknames in the Star Wars universe. All things about the different characters, so it's all like tidbits of information about everything you need to know about the Star Wars universe. So that could be that's a nice little keepsake, to be fair. I do like that. 20,000 credits paid by Comonians <laughs> for Django's genetic code. <laughs> He's no good to me, dead. <laughs> Love that. That's awesome. What else we got in here? <laughs> Woo! A First Order Stormtrooper Vinyl Bobblehead. Ooh. So we do have a Star Wars Stormtrooper Bobblehead. I do like these. This is uh, the First Order one as well. So I mean, yeah, The Force Awakens over, but we've got Episode 8 next year, and The First Order are still in that. So this is still relevant to me at the moment. Awesome. I'll do full reviews of those on the channel. What else we got in here? <laughs> <laughs> Star Wars key covers. You know I'm going to use that, right? So I can turn my key into the Millennium Falcon or to BB-8. That's a cool little idea. I'm so going to put the Millennium Falcon one on my house, on my house keys. <laughs> what else we got here? I have a Millennium Falcon bottle opener. Join the resistance. So a nice bottle opener. <laughs> Random. Yeah. This box is bigger than me. Styrene crap. Ugh. Bottle of styrene crap. Oh, bottle of styrene crap. I've got two big items, but I'm going to try and leave them to the end. Bottle of styrene crap. Right, now I've got all the bottle of styrene crap out of the way. Ah, okay, so there's some cool stuff in it. So what is this? The Pocket Pal with original movie sound effects. That is so coming out straight away. <laughs> that goes on way too long. That goes on way too long. This is so loud. To keep going now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Finally, 
is finished. <laughs> we got some pop vinyls. We've got Finn and Poe Dameron. I don't have either in my collection, so they're nice. The Finn is an underground exclusive. Oh, he's got the lightsaber. Okay, so this is the Finn with the lightsaber that wasn't released straight away, obviously, at movie release because they didn't want you to know he had a lightsaber, even though there was a movie poster. But this is the Finn with the lightsaber, so that's a little bit more hard to find. And this is Poe Dameron in his uh, resistance uh, fighter uniform. So again, another nice pop. So two pops and a vinyl bobblehead, that's not bad. Ah! I've got a Christmas Chewbacca! <laughs> He's got little ears on. Do you talk? <laughs> Chewy! You can't even tell he's chewing, his eyes are covered with hair. You can see, you just see his blue little eyes through that look. You can't even see him. He just, he makes the one sound effect over and over and over, he just screams. That's kind of cute, I suppose. But then, to make matters worse, they've sent me a big one too! <laughs> it looks, looks a lot like me. Do you do the same noise? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, I was not expecting to move, I just pooed myself! <laughs> oh, Super Soul needs a fresh pair of pants! <laughs> I turned that towards me and it just meant so oh my god I pooed myself. Okay <laughs> Oh I'm gonna terrify my baby with that when she gets home. <laughs> oh I don't like the way it looks at me. <laughs> okay, Chewie, you face the wall now. Thanks for stopping by, Chewie! I <laughs> go into the desk, Chewie! <laughs> and final item today, guys, the last item in the box. Ooh! First order bag! So, that's not a bad haul. To say it's meant to be a My Geek Box or a Z Box. And it cost me it cost me 50. So I mean, that Chewie must be worth at least 20, 30 on his own. This bag would probably run you about 30 quid as well. Awesome, there's no tag. I saw a tag, I assume there'd be a price attached to it. So it's a proper nice satchel bag. It comes with the back pocket here. I'd probably put my laptop in this. My devices and things when I go when I go out and about. It comes with two clips at the bottom. So the bag it isn't just a flap over one, it's got a proper uh, little uh, clips. And it's, it's just got the one compartment. It's not a two compartment bag, but that's fine. It opens up really wide, and the strap's on the inside. So it opens up quite wide, so I can fit my laptop in that. That's going to be my new, my new laptop bag, and my new Comic Con bag. Super Sorrel's a happy bunny. So, what did you guys think of this one? This is probably one of the better boxes I've ever received from my Geek Box, or the Hook Group, as well, you know, because this is also Z Box. Move, move wrap around my feet. So it's, it's my it's my geek box, but it's also the same box they were sending out on my hook on the hook group. So definitely worth it on this box. Some of their boxes are not worth salt, you know, they're not, they're not worth the paper they're printed on. So this box is amazing and I really liked it. I like everything in it. <laughs> that, that's weird and loud, but it's still cool. I've already got one of these from another box, but it's, you know, I can, this is, it's, it's Star Wars enough that I can sell it on, and there's someone who'll actually have that. I'm going to be using this. I'm going to do a big unboxing of these, because I've also got the, um, I've also got Captain Phasma to unbox as well. So definitely be doing a full review of some Star Wars pops and vinyls in the near future for you. That book as well is amazing. I really like the book. That's got some nice facts and figures in that I'm going to enjoy reading in a moment with a cup of coffee while editing this video. <laughs> so guys, what are your thoughts on this haul? Let me know in the comments down below. Smash that subscribe button, guys. It really supports the show. And comment as well in the description. Let, let me know your favourite item. It really supports the show and the channel's growth. And we've come so far this year. And I can't wait for 2017 to see what that has in store. 
Guys, thank you very much for tuning in, and I'll speak to you again soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye!